Hey guys, this is John from The Lucky Needle and today I wanted to show you guys how to clean your sewing machine. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the video. Leave me some comments on some other stuff you'd like to see. Make sure you check out my website, theluckyneedle.com and uh, let's get started. Alright, so whenever you're cleaning your sewing machine, these are the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to want to get some paper towels. Um, you're going to need some cleaner. This is just a simple green that I put in a regular squirt bottle. I really like that for cleaning everything, my tables, my machines, my tools, all of it works real well. You're going to want to get some glue remover. This is just for cleaning off any you know, glue or overspray of glue that you got onto your machine or your tables. Uh, we're going to need some sewing machine oil for lubricating all the parts. You're going to want to check your manual for your sewing machine and make sure that you purchase the oil, the right type of oil that your manufacturer suggests. Um, we're going to need some grease. This is just some multi-purpose grease that uh, we're going to use to grease some of the gears that are in the sewing machine. Um, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver bit. You're going to need a pair of ice grips. You're going to need some needle nose pliers, we're going to use these for pulling out any thread that got, has gotten tangled inside or stuck somewhere. You're also going to need a, um, a blow gun for your air compressor to blow out all the junk that gets stuck inside the crevices and nooks and crannies. And then you're also going to need just a regular flathead screwdriver. So I'm going to show you how to clean your sewing machine, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is remove the feet. So I'll just get your screwdriver and take your feet off real quick. And I always like to put this screw back in so I don't lose it. And then go ahead and wet your paper towel down with some simple green cleaner. And we can just clean these feet off real quick because these tend to get all oily and they get kind of grimy from sewing stuff. So it's good to clean all of this off every once in a while so it doesn't get your fabric that you're sewing dirty. And then just rub down all of this stuff, get up in the nooks and crannies, make sure all of it's clean. Then what you're going to want to do is take off these plates and clean these off real good as well. Um, I like the simple green because it, it actually it works really good for um, cleaning off all the oil because it is a degreaser. So clean that off. Um, you know, every once in a while it's a good idea to take off your seam guide and clean all that out. Um, I'm just going to leave it on for this because it's uh, pretty new. Then you're going to want to come in here and clean out all the oil and gunk out of here real well. So a lot of times what ends up happening is you'll get a bunch of junk built up in here and then it gets really hard to take those plates in and out. So clean all that real good. <clears throat> Alright, now the next thing that we're going to want to do is take your feed dog plate off and that's this part right here because what happens is it gets a lot of buildup of stuff underneath it and you want to clean the, the feed dog off and so we're gonna take our screwdriver and we can get with this screwdriver this front one here pretty easily but on the back you can see that we can't get to it because it's in the in the way up here so what I do is I take these vice grips and this bit and I just clamp it in the vice grips just like that and then what you can do is it gives you enough room to get in there 
and loosen this screw up. Now it shouldn't be too tight. Um, you don't really want to tighten any of this stuff up really tight because then you'll end up stripping it out and then it's a pain in the butt to either fix or get back out. But anyways, take this screw out and then this plate just pops up like that. But you can see that there's a bunch of gunk on the bottom of this and down here on the feed dog. Um, this, uh, you know, I, I keep this pretty clean so this isn't too bad, but this will get, what will happen is this will get really plugged up with junk and it can actually start affecting how your material feeds through the machine. So we're gonna go ahead and clean all this off really well. Just with some simple green. Now, you can see, you know, a lot of this stuff usually comes from when you're working with canvas. For whatever reason, canvas really seems to plug your machine up a lot more than vinyl does. So you want to remember that uh, to clean your machine after you, know, you do any big jobs with canvas. Um, when you're working with vinyl, you don't have to do it quite as often. So I'm going to come down in here now clean all this off. You know, and you really want to try and get down in these crevices here. Clean all this out. Um, and then what you want to do is go ahead and take out your your bobbin here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to blow all of this out with our, with our air blower. And that's really going to help get all the junk unplugged. So just take one of these guys and get in here. Blow all this out real good. Sorry if that's loud on the camera, but... So you can see all that junk that came out of there, so it's really good to keep all this clean because you can just imagine how it won't, um, how it will cause problems while you're sewing. That's one other thing I suggest too. If you're ever having problems with your sewing machine and you can't figure out what's wrong with it, it's a good place to start is cleaning your sewing machine. So after that, um, sometimes what you'll have is some threads that have gotten caught up around here in your bobbin case. Um, if that's, that's the issue you're having, it's good to have some needle nose pliers. You can get down in there and pull them out. So keep an eye out for that. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to open this up in here. Um, inside of here, you know, it doesn't really usually get too dirty, but you do want to blow it out every once in a while just to get any dust and other debris that gets caught in there. So we'll go ahead and blow this all out. And then uh, we'll just uh, clean, clean a little bit inside there with some simple green just to keep it, just to keep it nice and good looking. And we'll just kind of clean around here. You don't need to spend too much time inside here because like I said, it doesn't, doesn't really get that dirty. Important thing on all the stuff inside of the here is just to keep it oiled on a regular basis because you can see that how many moving parts are inside here. And if you don't keep your sewing machine oiled on a regular basis, you know, it wears out a lot faster and then you, you know, have to either buy a new sewing machine or pay for replacement parts and that's just a pain in the butt. All right, so we'll leave this off for now. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the machine up like this and we're gonna clean all the, uh, all of the underneath side here on this. So, uh, 
All right, so the first thing we're gonna do once we flip our machine up like this is blow out the bottom here. Um, you can see there's you know a bunch of just dust and hair and there'll be threads caught around in this grease and all kinds of stuff. So let's just go ahead and blow this out real well. So once you blow that out, you can see all the junk that came out of the bottom. I mean, it's all over my table here now. So that's all more stuff you don't want inside there. Then we're just going to go ahead and, you know, just wipe down all these parts real well. Um, it's all old oil. You want to try and what happens is you're constantly oiling machi your machine whenever you're working on it, you know, before a big job you're going to want to put oil in all the oil spots on your machine and I'm going to show you how to do that after we're done cleaning here. But um, what happens is when there's oil on here you know the oil attracts dust. I mean you can see how dusty all that is you know and after a while it builds up and it's not good for your machine so you want to try and you know get it all off and if you have to you know move your hand wheel to get around all these parts and clean them off, you know, go ahead and do that. You can see how many moving parts there are under here too, so that's why it's also important to keep it clean. All right, and then uh, what you want to do is try and get as much of this old, nasty grease out of here on your gears. Uh, some machines, they have a sump that just sits in oil and you don't have to do this. But on this one, it's a good idea when this grease gets kind of dirty and nasty to take it out and put some new grease in. You don't have to do that every time you clean your machine, but just keep an eye on it. So. You can just spin your wheel and hold it on the gears here and you know slowly start to get some of this grease off. You can see, you know, it's pretty dirty. See, see here, this is what I'm talking about where thread gets caught in stuff and this is where you can use your needle nose pliers to pull this guy out. See there's a whole bunch of thread wrapped around in all of this and you can just use that to get it out of there. Because that you definitely don't want inside. Looks like that's all of it. So we'll come in here and clean all this grease out. And all I'm doing is just holding my rag in there and spinning the wheel with my hand and it's turning everything for me so I can wipe it all off real easy.
All right, so that's looking pretty good there.